The 1401 Joint Drone Drill kicked off on Wednesday in the presence of the four branches of the Army and the Joint Defense Base in the north, south, west, and center of Iran. The two-day exercise will be conducted with 150 surveillance and reconnaissance and combat drones in the north, south, west, and center of Iran. According to Iran Press News Agency, coordinating deputy of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army and the commander of the 1401 Joint Drone Drill of the Army, Rear Admiral Habibullah Sayari, said, Today, the drones are a new phenomenon. Recently, the effectiveness of them in the crisis has been proven, such as in the war between the Republic of Azerbaijan and Armenia in Karabakh, the war between Ukraine and Russia, etc. The Islamic Republic of Iran is not dependent on other countries to provide security, and all the equipment in the field of UAVs is produced domestically," Rear Admiral Sayari noted. The commander of the 1401 Joint Drone Drill of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army stated that having a UAV capability contributes to the deterrence of the country and emphasized, the security of the country and the region must be provided by the countries of the region. If others are going to establish security for the U.S., it is not establishing security, but it is imported security which is useless. The big exercises commenced on Wednesday morning with the participation of over 150 new advanced unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. The exercises will continue for two days. Earlier on Tuesday, Deputy Chief of Iran Army for Coordination, Rear Admiral Habibullah Sayari, had announced the holding of the massive drills. He noted that the Army and the Defense Ministry had manufactured the drones cooperating with local knowledge-based companies, which would be flown in the exercise. As Sayari highlighted, the drills would cover all areas across Iran, from the Persian Gulf and the Sea of Oman in the south to the northern and central parts of the country. The accuracy and power of weapons, the capabilities of guidance and control systems, and the combat capabilities of drones are among the things that will be tested and evaluated in this exercise," Deputy Coordinator of the Armed Forces Admiral Habibullah Sayari told the state broadcaster. This is the first time that a joint drone exercise is conducted at the level of the four forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran's army and the country's joint air defense base," Sayari added. No details were given as to how long the exercises would last. Iran started developing drones in the 1980s during its eight-year war with Iraq. This is only a part of the drone power of Iran's army, which is carrying out operations in various reconnaissance, surveillance, and combat missions," Sayari added. The drills will take place from the warm waters of the Gulf and the Sea of Oman in the south to the eastern, western, northern and central parts of the country," he said. Iran's army unveiled its first division of ships and submarines capable of carrying armed drones in July, when U.S. President Joe Biden was touring the Middle East. In May, state television broadcast footage of an airbase for drones under the Zagros mountain range in the west of the country. The U.S. and Israel, archenemies of Iran, have previously accused Tehran of using drones and missiles to attack U.S. forces and Israel-linked ships in the Gulf. Washington said in July that Iran plans to deliver hundreds of drones to Russia to aid its war on Ukraine, an accusation Tehran dismissed as baseless. On Marinews.com also says, the massive exercises kicked off on Wednesday morning with the involvement of more than 150 new advanced drones. The exercises will continue for two days.
The spokesperson of the exercise Rear Admiral Mohamed Massavi said that on the first day of the Army's joint drone exercises, surveillance and reconnaissance drones from the four forces of the Army successfully carried out the operation of monitoring the country's borders and identifying the targets in the general area of the exercise. He added that homegrown Yasser, Sadiq, Sincere, Yazdan, and Ababal 3 tactical surveillance unmanned aerial vehicles, Pelican vertical takeoff and landing, toll, naval drone, in addition to Mohajir 6 sister aircraft were flown from different bases across Iran and monitored the country's frontiers. The aircraft, he added, successfully identified designated targets in the general zone of the exercise as well as international waters. Due to the expansion of unmanned aerial capabilities, execution of various and numerous drone missions, and the need to coordinate such flights, the Army has as set up a command and control network for the drone operations, Masavi said. This exercise exhibits only a small fraction of the achievements made by the Islamic Republic of Iran Army in connection with domestically developed drones, he pointed out. Thank you.